Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're back with another model review uh, and this is of the AutoArt Maserati MC12. Now for those who subscribe to the channel you would have seen my recent video uh, what happened to AutoArt models. Um, I've decided to go back through uh, AutoArt's older range of models and buy some of the really detailed models that were missing from my collection uh, and that have truly uh, exceptionally good detail and this is another one of those models so uh, this is from uh, the signature series of auto art comes in this plain black box with the silver lettering um, and yeah it's one that I wanted to add to the collection for a while uh, I got it for a decent price uh, so let's have a look so uh, the model does come in a foam shell inside to protect the model uh, now these older Signature Series Auto Art models did come with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, you also get a booklet which has got some details about the model. Um, and if we open it up, this is the Maserati MC12. Now this is a full die cast model, fully opening, uh, and it's got some great detail too. So uh, I'll get this unscrewed out of the uh, foam shell. We'll put it on the turntable. Uh, and we'll have a closer look at this awesome Maserati MC12. Okay, so here we have the enormous Maserati MC12 model. For those that don't know, this was actually built on the same chassis as the Ferrari Enzo, um, but it had much, much longer bodywork, and this is a huge model. Uh, it's nearly hanging off my 12-inch turntable here, so uh, it is quite a long model. Um, probably the same width as an Enzo, maybe a little bit wider in the back, um, but it's very long. It's much, much longer than an Enzo model. Now, as I said, I'm going back to all these older auto art models um, just because I prefer these models made out of die cast rather than composite. I really enjoy that they fully open up and that they've got lots and lots of excellent detail. So, something that's just lacking from the new auto art models. So let's, um, let's start with the, the paintwork on this model. It comes in this beautiful pearl white color uh, with the blue lower trim uh, and the big blue rear spoiler. Um, and it's absolutely flawless, the paintwork. It's got a beautiful pearl fleck in it. Uh, really, really tasty, I like it. Um, of course, all these auto art signature models had photo etch mesh in the front, uh, in the side grills and also the rear of the car. This is all photo etch mesh behind here as well, which is lovely to see. Uh, it has a nice little um, raised Maserati logo on the hood here. Uh, it's got some fantastic uh, louvers which are open. You can actually see the tires through here and also these big straights here uh, for the cooling fans that are underneath and I'll show you those shortly. Uh, headlight detail is okay on this MC12. They're replicated okay. You've got the blue highlights inside the headlight bucket uh, and nice clear plastic on the headlight covers. Nice little metal clips here on the front clip because this comes off. I'll show you that in a minute. And you've got some nice little clear orange turn signals uh, on the side of the front clip. Uh, mirrors are replicated okay. Uh, as are the door handles which are cast into the top of the door. You do have these rear vents here. Nice little Maserati logos on the B pillar here. You've got some more little ducts here to let air into the engine. Uh, nice uh, louvers on the rear engine lid. Uh, and you've got this ginormous uh, big rear spoiler, somewhat reminiscent of the F50 Ferrari. Um, not quite the same, but reminiscent. Uh, and of course you have the photo etch mesh in the back. Tar lights are replicated okay. Uh, and you do have your exhaust system underneath uh, and your exhaust tips coming out the back. So overall, the model presents really well. I really like this one. Um, I probably should have bought it many, many years ago, but I didn't. Um, and I think I paid about 265 Australian dollars for this model. So, um, there was a bit of a wave of these on sale a while back um, and a lot of guys did pick these up at a really cheap price. Um, I should have bought one then as well when they were a bit cheaper. 
Um, but nonetheless, uh, happy with the purchase now. Now, as I said, this uh, does have a removable front. Uh, this whole section is die cast, as you can see. It's all black underneath. You can see your cooling ducts going through there. Um, really nice attention to detail. And the front, you've got awesome detail in here. So you can see the in inboard shock absorbers, uh, your big cooling fans here on the radiators, uh, and you've got some fuse boxes and some other bits and pieces in the front as well. So um, great detail. Wheels do steer and they do roll, which is typical auto art of old and new. So yeah, this is the sort of detail that us collectors want. Um, all the new auto art models that only have opening doors, you're just missing all this detail. And this is what we got into the hobby for. We wanted to see all this detail. Now the, door, the doors do open as well. You can actually just grab these there and open those up. Beautiful little mechanisms on the uh, doors so that they don't swing out and hit the body. Uh, and there are some magnets in here which help keep the doors uh, open or closed, I should say. And detail inside is really good. Uh, forgot to mention, it does have a removable roof, uh, which it's held in by magnets at the front and pins at the back. So that will be actually better for me to show you the interior of the model. So all the seats, most of the interior is in this dark blue colour. Uh, it does have rubber, rubberized seat belts, but it doesn't really detract too much from the model in this case. Um, only average detail in the centre console uh, with some switches and buttons. Um, and it does have the Maserati script on the carbon sill as well. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with that. It looks, it looks quite good. We'll close those doors up there and we'll just flip that over again so you can have a bit more of a look there at the interior. So it's pretty faithfully reproduced to the actual real Maserati car so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it has this huge big windscreen wiper here, uh, that's just plastic um, and it does have a, a rear opening engine lid as well so and this has actually got the two struts here which open to help hold the rear engine cover open because it is die cast and it is a bit heavier uh, and you can see the big pearl white air box on the top of the engine there which is really cool uh, you've got your inboard shock absorbers as well on this model remembering that this is based on the Enzo chassis so it's the same sort of layout as an Enzo uh, you've got a big exhaust cover on the back here um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. This is when AutoArt used to really put good detail in their models and engineer them really well. Uh, as you can see, this is a really big engine cover uh, and it is die cast, so there's a bit of weight, but they figured that out and put these little uh, articulated struts on there, which is fantastic. I love those sort of little details with these older models, so you can sort of see why I went back um, and starting to buy these. Uh, auto art models so I will probably display this model fully open like this so that you can see everything with the front clip off uh, and overall really happy with this model I'm glad that I actually finally added one to the collection um, I think it's a real showstopper and I do like it in the pearl white and the blue as well so probably a lot of you guys already have this model in your collection so uh, this review I'm not showing you anything that you haven't already seen but for those that don't actually own this model uh, I highly recommend adding it to the collection uh, I wasn't the biggest Maserati fan to be honest but um, this is just a great great model that I had to add to the collection so overall really high marks for auto art in these good old days of these die cast models uh, really really happy with it it's a great addition so that's pretty much it for today's review of this Maserati MC12. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps promote the channel. Uh, and stay tuned. We've got plenty more model reviews on the way. Uh, I've been having a bit of a spend up lately. So uh, I've got a ton more to film and to bring to you guys as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, feel free to share the video also. 
Uh, and if you, if you don't know or you're not following Rob's Model Cars on Facebook, have a look on there. I've got another couple of model builds that I'm doing at the moment. Uh, and before I release a video here on YouTube, you can see all the update pictures uh, and progress of those custom models on my Facebook page. So that's it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and I hope this has encouraged you to maybe go and add one of these AutoArt Maserati MC12s to your collection also. Uh, until next time, stay tuned. Thanks for watching uh, and this is Rob's Model Cars.